Hey guys, Pro here at VIP Outdoors, and today on Tackle Tip Tuesday, we are going over how to replace the alligator clips to a Scotty Downrigger plug um, for your electric reels. So saltwater fishing is something that I've got into uh, pretty heavily the last few years. <laughs> I swear I'd never use electric reels, uh, just ask my buddy Jack, but I'm 41 years old now, so uh, I do use them. This one right here, this cord in particular came with the uh, the Force Master from Shimano, whereas the other cords I have and have familiarity with are the, from the Tanicums. So they're a little bit different. Uh, the Shimano comes like this here, shrink tubed, and then labeled alligator clips. The Daiwa is very similar. The only difference is when I work with these two here, what I'm gonna do, actually I'll just cut this one all the way back here so you guys can see as well. So just take all of them, cut them back to the black main cord, chop them off just like that. Now when you get these Scotty Downrigger plugs, this sleeve is actually pulled all the way to the top and I'll tell you right now, it's miserable to get off there. That's all there is to it. You just have to pull that sleeve back, get your man hands going and get it off of there. When you get it out of there, this is what you have here, okay? Let's leave that aside for just one second. Do not forget, take this housing and it goes over that black cord. Maybe, there you go, nice and tight. And push it down to where you expose that, that, that wire, okay? Or two wires. So with this plug here, we're gonna get it ready by doing two things. We're gonna take this clamp off. You don't have to, but it just makes your life a little bit easier. Put that clamp to the side. Now that you have this, you have them labeled. One of them is labeled with the number one. You can kinda see that right there. And the other is labeled with the number two up there. The number one is gonna be your ground wire. Your ground wire, generally speaking, is gonna be black. And then guys, I'll tell you right now, I am not an electrician. I hate electronics, period. Um, but pretty simple if I could do it also. Again, one's your ground being black, and then the other one being white or red, that's your hot wire number two. So let's get this guy prepped. I'm gonna do it old school this style. I'm gonna take my knife to it and go about two inches down Make a cut. Pull that off. Expose my hot and my ground. Take these fancy guys. That's a 12 to 14. Probably about, probably about an inch worth. Give it a little twist. Pop that off. Pop that off, twist those tight. Now again, I'm gonna go back into the back of my Scotty plug. Remember, one being black ground and red or white being your hot. Go into your number two, put them in there just like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them down with this side screws. Get them nice and tight. got a little sloppy on me so I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust that clean it up make sure we get all the wires in there to get the best connection we could possibly get does it make a difference I don't know I'm not an electrician but to me more wires the better right this is why I hate multi-strand wires right here there we go got that all the way in there Good connection, tighten it up. <clears throat> Most important part is that I left enough of this sleeve 
to go in between that clamp. We want that clamp to support this clamp that we took off to support that main wire. So put the clamp back on there. Like that. And tighten her back down. I usually go about halfway tight on one side and then I go to the other all the way down and go back and snug them down. Just like that. The importance of that is when you go pulling on the reel, you're not pulling on these small connectors up here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna slide it all the way to the top. Now, you have a slot on there that says insert. Insert is gonna go to your top plug there. It should actually, there should be a marker on the inside, kind of like if you're connecting your trailer. There's a, um, if you look in there, there's a notch, and that notch fits in that slot right there. Yeah. Again, just like hooking up your boat trailer or something. This is a hard fight get back in there. And if you could pull on this and those wires don't come out, that means you snugged it up tight enough. And there you have it, guys. Uh, that's how we convert our alligator clips that come stock on these electric reels to our, our Scotty plugs. Hope it helps. If you guys have any questions, leave them down on the comment. Uh, we're going to hit the salt water this weekend, and we are going to compare the Tanicum 750 and the Force Master 6000. So can't wait to do that. Can't wait to go kill some fish. Again, got any questions, leave them down below. We'll make sure we get to them. Thanks for watching, guys.